Hi, Dr. Sheehan from Sheehan Natural Health Improvement Center. Today, we're going to uh, go over the second pillar on the functional blood chemistry series. We're gonna talk about dehydration. Dehydration is really important to take care of early uh, because if you don't take care of it, people don't get better. They don't detox properly. Um, and it's really easy to fix. You drink water. So anyway, so dehydration. The symptoms that people mostly come in with are fatigue, um, headaches, leg pain, and lower back pain. They can have any one of those or all of them. A lot of people do have all of them. Um, and spoiler alert, you know what you do to fix it? You drink a gallon of water a day. People say, well, you only drink when you're thirsty or something. No, if you're dehydrated, you need to drink a gallon a day. But anyway, we'll get to that in a second. Um, so when you're looking at your blood, a lot, I go over functional blood chemistry with people. And so I'm gonna show you how it actually shows in your blood tests. First of all, what I'm gonna tell you is that it shows up in different areas, okay? Right here is your urine, okay? It shows up as an increase in your specific gravity. That means that basically it's more concentrated. You have less water and more stuff in there, like um, uh, minerals, proteins, hopefully not too much protein, but basically minerals, solids, stuff like that. And so it's gonna get more concentrated, okay? This looks thicker, okay? It's gonna look more yellow, okay? That's in your analysis. Um, the next place that I actually look is right here. There's called red blood cells, hemoglobin, and hematocrit. These are measures of your red blood cells. And basically what happens is it makes the red blood cells look, um, we'll put it this way. Your blood is, it's made up of red blood cells, um, white blood cells, uh, and plasma, which is mainly uh, water, okay? And so if you're dehydrated, you're gonna have less plasma, and so you're gonna have, relatively speaking, more red blood cells, and what's in red blood cells, but basically hemoglobin, and what's called hematocrit, which is the reflection of how much hemoglobin. So you'll see an increase in either the red blood cells, hemoglobin, hematocrit, usually all three, okay? Now, other things can do that, and so when you have dehydration, you're gonna look for an increase in specific gravity, an increase in these, and then what you're gonna see, I don't know why I can't draw this, but whatever. Uh, you're also gonna see an increase in what's called BUN and BUN, uh, BUN creatinine ratio. BUN is a protein, okay? And that your, um, it should be in a certain amount in your blood, okay? And if it's too high, it means that you're not peeing it out as much, it's not being filtered as much, and you're gonna see it go higher, okay? Now, these other things, carbon dioxide, sodium, potassium, total protein, albumin, I look for those secondarily. I will tell you why I look for them secondarily, because they reflect a lot of other things, okay? Usually, when I'm looking for dehydration, red blood cells, thicker, more protein in the blood. You can also see an increase in that and that, okay? I don't usually use sodium potassium, but you should know. Basically, you're gonna see all these things increase in dehydration, okay? So, how do you improve dehydration? <laughs> you just drink more water, and that's it? That's it, that's all you gotta do. Also, um, look at the things that are gonna dehydrate you, okay? You might wanna cut down on your coffee, alcohol, alcohol and coffee together. Um, uh, what else would do it? Sugar, sugar will also cause dehydration. So just cut down those three things while you drink more water, okay? All right.